Welcome to the Review Show. My name is Uriah. We have a special guest on the show today. Peyton Chasing Up. Tucker B. Holes. Today, we're reviewing trackers and implements. Take it off with the first item. Alright, the first one up is uh, DB120. 48 rows. Um, it's 120 foot toolbar. Honestly, I think that it's good for like big fields. Oh, yeah. But around here, I probably uh, wouldn't think so. Around here, I would not recommend, no. especially if you want to either get it stuck or break something. Probably work easier. with the 175 NT planters. Yeah. The smaller ones. Yeah. Yeah. It's also available in mini hoppers, max emerge, five row units. It requires 370 horsepower tractor to pull this thing. But hey, we have a tractor just perfect for this. Next, but I would probably rate this planter a 9 out of 10 because of the company and how well versatile this would be used for like bigger fields. What do you rate this on? Um, I'd probably rate it an 8 out of 10 due to its like lack of like oversized and I'm not going to be able to put it to use in, in anywhere Yeah. in South Dakota oh, yeah. or any other state really, unless if you have big grounds. Oh yeah. Tucker, take it away with the next item. I didn't review it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Review this one real quick. Uh, uh, it's pretty nice. It's twice the size of the tractor. It's a 9RX or 9R that's oh, yeah. pulling it right in the picture. It looks pretty nice. I would rate it probably a 9 out of 10. Mm, another 9 out of 10. Take it away with the next item. Put that in. 9RX 710 tractor. That's what's pulling this planter. It's a uh, tracks, has four tracks. Quad track. And it steers from the middle. That's a nice tractor. It's a brand new one. Its cost is $1,194.96. Yeah, that's with the options. Like, base yeah. price is 1.9. Like, what? 1 mil? Mm. 1 mil 900? 1 point. 1.0 mil. Yeah, 90. But if you had $105,000 worth of options on it, it's yeah. going to be a lot. So. A lot to it. I probably rated uh, 8 out of 10, I think. It. This is the newest tractor, I think, John. You just produced it, right? Yeah. This year? Yeah. Like, like there's a lot of options. Liters. Yeah. There's a lot of options you can do for this. A lot of options. They give you really make this really your own tractor if you want to. That's kind of steep price, but if you're a big farmer, you could probably buy like two of these. If you're a big, really big farmer, maybe one. So I'd probably rate this a eight out of 10. How do you feel about this? Um, it's a really nice tractor, but they kind of like made this tractor for not for farming. They made it more for like construction and it other stuff that's like not farming wise um so i'd probably rate it a 7.5 out of 10. next hey. item we have is a 2007 john deere 9560 sts combine this combine is used it is used so it's 62,000 um has 3,000 hours on it Separator hours is 2,000. It's used, um, it's two-wheel drive combine. It's four seasons since engine rebuilt. It's filled ready and it's deep clean when you buy it. Rear attachment is a straw chopper and spreader combo. Beans and corn, cause you know, rotor, separated type is rotor, it's not bullet. Um, rock trap, there's a rock trap, you know. It has air. Heat and GPS ready, so. Honestly, I hope so. Yeah, I really do. GPS ready, has yield monitor and auto guidance, so and auto guidance ready. And the fuel type is diesel. Oh, yeah. Got him in the diesel. Engine overhaul, yes. Our sense is 300. I rate this. The grain bin's a little too small. The grain hopper. I don't know whatever you call that, but you think. Yeah, that's actually a hopper. big for... Hopper. It is pretty big for what it is. We should go bigger. <laughs> I honestly rate this tractor a 10 out of 10. 
because I love this thing. Because I know someone who uses this. I don't know about the same exact one, but... Hmm, I'd probably rate it maybe an 8. Why is that? Um, well, there's some things that I would do differently. What's that? Yeah, and plus, I'd try to get a little bit newer year hmm. than 07, if possible. How do you feel about this, Tucker? It looks pretty nice. The paint looks pretty new. Yeah. It, look, it looks like it's been in a shed for all of its life, so that's nice. So it's probably not going to have very much damage or like water damage. Oh, so yeah. I would probably rate it um, a 10 out of 10. Even in the hopper, it doesn't, even the hopper's paint is still there, so that's... And the interior is immaculate on this thing, too. Mm -hmm. Brand new, this, she was baby her whole life. It's pretty nice. All right, that's all the items we have for you today on this review show. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and see you next, next week.